I don't suppose you know these people. Failure and disobedience are one and the same. <gasps> My lord, I tried. In the Sith tongue, both translate as treason. That is the wisdom of the ancients. Put Watcher 3 down. The Cypher Agent. You defeated the traitor Jadis and the fools in the SIS. My masters acknowledge your service. But you serve intelligence no longer. By order of the Dark Council, Operations Division is dissolved. Personnel will be reassigned to wartime units or to deserving Sith Lords. Don't be stupid. Without intelligence, our enemies gain the advantage. You are valuable, yet your life is still worth less than a drop of Sith blood. The war does not go well, whatever the official word. The Ministry of War must have resources, and intelligence fails to do its part. We hear rumors of corruption and treason. Agents wasted chasing conspiracies. A brain-dead keeper. Time to butcher the beast for its meat. You don't even realize you're being manipulated, or the damage you'll do. I will teach you respect. Ship secure, my lord. We found the alien outside a cantina. I was on a break. What's the deal? Intelligence may overlook her past, but she is an anarchist and an enemy of the Empire. She will be interrogated and judged. I will kill you. You get that? I will kill you! I'm sorry, I don't think we have much of a choice. These people are dead, and when I'm through with them, you and me are gonna finish this! I swear! The rest of your team can remain intact. As for you, by special request of the Minister of Intelligence, you are being transferred to my brigade on the Corellian front lines. Together, we will drown the Republic in blood. I'm so sorry, sir. You will know your assignments. Get moving. Begin message. Ugh. I warned you what would happen, but you couldn't stay away from Boss. You had to make waves, kill our special Gormak friend. Now the boats are in, and you see the consequences of drawing their attention. The gift is for you. I can't protect you anymore. Who'd have thought the Star Cabal was so sentimental? Maybe if intelligence had nurtured our agents more, we'd still be around. We'll talk to our contacts in the diplomatic service. We'll talk to the Nest. We'll talk to House Thol. We'll find support. Frankly, it's hard to imagine intelligence being gone. We may have lost operations, but we know more about the Star Cabal than anyone. They're scared. They acknowledge our existence. Believe me, I want them exterminated too, but let's not overstate our position. I thought you were the optimistic one. Then we really need to spend more time together. He shows his bitterness. It will become a tactical vulnerability. What I'd like to know is, what's your plan now? Someone wants us on the front lines of Corellia, likely as a trap. I intend to find out why and follow the answer to our enemy. Onward then, into the Maw of the Dragon. You have my full support. Let's hope the Force favors the bold. You said you wanted to talk? Yes, sir. Ensign Rena Temple, formerly of the Chiss Expansionary Defense Force, reporting for combat drills. Do I look like someone who enjoys a playful approach to our work? I take your point. It wasn't meant to offend. Frankly, I need the practice. No one ever taught me covert maneuvers. If you've got time... Grab your equipment, I'll find a private spot. Thank you, sir. All right. I think I've sweat enough for one day. Any last words of wisdom for your freshly transferred ensign? Never let anything distract you. No one can compensate for your errors. I'm confident it isn't so dire. But I take your point. You know, my father used to come home from exercises freshly scarred. I was 12 before I realized his training drills were intelligence operations. He was captured twice, but he wouldn't let me worry, no matter how bad it got. 
The best operatives don't get caught, let alone more than once. I wouldn't worry. He's no longer in the Empire's service. Thank you for the lesson. A few more and I'll be infiltrating enemy camps with the best of them. Sir, since our combat session went so well, I thought we might try something else. Lessons in interpersonal manipulation and information extraction. Lecture one entitled... Once they think they need you, they'll tell you anything. Descriptive name, sir. Is it always about need? When I first arrived at Zero Station, no one trusted me. I was the human Imperial who must have been a spy. But I learned my way around. And once the Chiss accepted my competence, it was easy to make friends. <laughs> Try making friends when your Mark wants you dead. Yes, I see. And what would you suggest under those circumstances? You blend into the background and wait for an opportunity. Don't stir the pot unless you know what you're in for. I'll happily leave that to you, then. I don't know what you think of my potential, sir, but I do appreciate your guidance. I've been deceiving people like an amateur for years. Time I started doing it right. How can I help you, Ensign? I have a purely professional question for you, sir, if you don't mind my asking. When you lie to a woman over the course of a mission, make her think you're interested, does it bother you? Any reason you're professionally interested? Don't mistake me, I've been involved with plenty of the wrong men, but going in there was always the chance they'd work out. I don't know how I'd handle living one life in the field and another back at home. It must be exhausting. Lust is a weapon, it's a tool of the trade. If you're going to depress me, sir, I'll have to stop asking questions. Next thing you know, you'll be telling me my parents' marriage was a sham. Two ciphers under one roof. If they really were happy, it's a rarity. More likely it was a professional necessity. They made room enough for me, until the Force got in the way. Thank you for your honesty, sir. You won't regret these sessions. Corellia Control to unregistered vessel. Hold for Captain Trage. Another ex-intelligence agent, eh? Welcome to the military. According to your transfer forms, you've been assigned the rank of lieutenant and placed in Lord Razor's brigade. What are my orders, sir? Report to Lord Razor's briefing room. Operations begin immediately. And don't expect the flexibility your former career may have offered you. This is war, and discipline is the key to victory. Not an auspicious beginning, is it? Now he's bringing in a chiss. Standards fall during wartime. Korriban will return to the old ways soon enough. You must be our intelligence transfer. Lord Razor's waiting on Hollow. Put him through. My squadrons, prepare to launch. Listen well, my new operative, for I will repeat nothing. Corellia is a founding planet of the Republic. It shall be our first conquest as we march to victory through the Core Worlds. But its population fears us. The Republic Army resists us. Their doom is our purpose here. Under Lord Razor's command, we've been conducting a bombing campaign for the past six weeks. He's brought us here to coordinate a final airstrike against Aegis Base, the Republic Army's headquarters for this sector. What's our approach? And how do I fit in? Phase one is the elimination of the outer ring of base defenses, shield generators, bunkers, fuel depots. They're hidden from the air and jam all our sensors, so our bombers can't spot them. Your assignment is to slip past the Republic Army battalions and designate high-value bomber targets. You aim the gun, our pilots pull the trigger. They won't know I'm there until after the bombs fall. You will be glorious. One master of stealth will cause more devastation than a hundred troops. Then, phase two. With its outer defenses destroyed, Aegis Base itself will be temporarily exposed. Our flyers will continue the engagement and our war droids will cut off Republic Special Forces. But that's all a distraction. You will infiltrate Aegis Base carrying a portable Baradium warhead. Planted correctly, it will incinerate anyone and anything inside. Sounds straightforward, if risky. No further instructions? You'll be patched into our channels to keep you apprised as the assault proceeds. Go now and arm yourself. The fighters have already launched, and Republic blood rains from the skies. 
Now, Major Nadeka, what of your war drones? on the ground. Any more and they get caught in the kill zone. Binox 6 gone. Kill it 3 gone. Missiles locked and away. Metal screams like a windstorm. Bones fall like hail. Yet the Republic suffers more. Our bombers are getting torn apart. You need to pull them back. Those who survive may retreat. But the fighters, their work must continue. Phase 2 begins now. The shields over Aegis base are down, and Major Nadeka has sent a signal to arm your warhead. Deliver it to the very center of the base. Make haste! You keep trying to contact me. Who is this? I'm a friend. The invisible enemy is still out there. We still need you to stop them. If you're my friend, give me your name. They monitor all channels. Even this call is a risk. But listen to me. Aegis Base maintains a secure link up to Republic headquarters on Corellia. Go to the terminal and give me access. We need data on Republic troop reinforcements. Why should I give you that kind of access? You can watch everything I do and call the plug at any time. You can even give the data to Lord Razor. Be careful, Cypher. I'll be watching. I found the link up to Republic Headquarters. Connecting now. 42 seconds until intercept. Slicing files. Here. This is Supreme Commander Rands to Corellia Command. I hope General Garza has arrived safely. She spearheads one of two waves of reinforcements. Hers is a special forces-led deployment of armor and infantry. The second wave is a coalition of foreign powers providing a detachment of battle droids, commandos, and shock troops. Details are attached to this message. Whatever the challenges, we will not give up Corellia.
The Empire isn't prepared for this level of opposition. What do you know about our forces and strategy? More than enough to know the invisible enemy is manipulating us. Complete your mission to destroy Aegis Base. I've arranged to secure a line at your base as headquarters. After you report in, we need to talk. I won't be your pawn. Give me answers or we're finished. The secure line. I'll tell you everything, Cypher. All work as equals again. This is Major Nodeka, beginning countdown on the warhead. At zero, everything inside Aegis Base will be reduced to component particles you might want to get out. Let's your out to all squadrons. Clear the airspace around Aegis Base. Go! be the first of my terror thralls. Your faces will be branded with symbols of victory. I'll have artists start on the slaves, my lord. But our losses... Our losses are nothing so long as the Republic weeps. Join us, my shadow operative, as we celebrate. More Republic troops are coming to Corellia. I found the data in Aegis base. They will die just as easily. I'll look at the data. My lord, the other Sith are coming to council. Then the celebrations must wait. Return to your work. Secure comm channel open. Uploading decryption program. Here we are, Cypher. Together again. Last I heard you were brain dead in a car city clinic along with half our watchers. There's no time for questions. The conspirators dismantled intelligence because we were close to unraveling their plan. They're exerting unprecedented influence on Corellia. You weren't transferred here by accident. You're here to discover their endgame and expose them before it's too late. We'll have to catch up later then. What do you have for me? The enemy is monitoring and manipulating military activity. They concealed news of those Republic reinforcements and I suspect they're doctoring Imperial records as well. I need an unaltered accounting of our forces on Corellia with real data. I can analyze why the conspiracy is pulling strings. You haven't lost your touch. The Dark Council recently sent Moff Zamar to perform a top secret accounting of every soldier, vehicle, and weapon we've lost. He's completed his tour and is taking a Skyhopper to the spaceport shortly. Intercept him en route and acquire his report before the enemy can alter it. I'll need the Skyhopper route and some way of getting his attention. You can force his Skyhopper to land by planting a series of false guide beacons around the Labor Valley battlegrounds. Once he's grounded, his Imperial Guard escort will protect his ship while you locate him. Getting the report is up to you. Ground a high-ranking official in the middle of a war zone. There must be a better way. Not in the time we have. I have faith you can ensure his safety. There's a code word, chromatic, that might convince Amar to cooperate or it could raise suspicion. Do what you have to and I'll be in touch. Intercepting a message from Moth Zamar's transport. Flight path is too dangerous. We'll set down until the Republic cannons stop firing. Only a matter of time before they send ground troops. Reinforcements requested. That's your signal. Get to Zamar before the Republic can, and get his report on our forces. Enemy reinforcements! <laughs> Hold right there. I'm on your side. I am here to see Moff Zamar. And I am sworn to protect him. State your purpose. Before I transferred here, I was designated Cypher 9. Tell Zamar intelligence needs him. I heard him, Commander. Send him in.
rather small rescue party. Still, I'm grateful you found us quickly. The report you compiled on our forces. Do you have it? Yes. Why do I suspect you're not authorized to know about it? The report is complete, and it is safe for the eyes of the Dark Council. You understand I can't say much more. I need that data. Maybe the word chromatic means something to you. Not a thing, other than the obvious. You aren't really... Very well. I owe him that much. We've spotted more Republic soldiers, sir. I'll give you the report, but I'll need to alert the Dark Council as soon as we reach safety. Can you lead us out of here? Stay behind me and keep close to your escort. I can get you outside the building. Commander? We can make it to an outpost from there. Then let's be on our way. We can take it from here. There's an outpost not far. We appreciate the rescue. Use that report in good conscience. I have Moff Samar's report, transmitting now. We're lucky to have you, Cypher. Beginning analysis. To date, our reports have shown the Empire at an advantage on Corellia. Our troops are more numerous, our weapons more advanced. Zamar's report suggests this advantage was a lie. The Republic could defeat us after all. Worse than that. Dar Thanaton, Barras, Vara, and half the Sith on the planet are expending Imperial troops on power plays instead of the war. Add to that the Republic's reinforcements, and we're an even match. Both sides could be obliterated. Hold on. This is Lord Razor to all forces. The Resistance and its Jedi friends have struck back. Report to my forward base. They are here. The calves have come to the butcher. You'd better lend a hand. The Empire can't afford a loss right now. I'm on my way. Keep working on the data. Find out what the conspirators are planning. Understood. Contact me when you can, and we'll plan the next step. The dark side has failed you, Chakran Sanjukai. I am Lord Razor. If only I could believe that. Concentrate fire on the Jedi. Do not let him escape. Start counting the dead. I'll tell Darth and Raj about his apprentice. You missed the best part. Republic rockets pounding soldiers into jam. Our division's been broken. How did the Corellian resistance get so far inside the base? The Jedi led an aerial insertion after the rocket attack ended. He went straight for Lord Razor. They apparently had a history. Now those of us still alive will be split up and reassigned to other Dark Lords. Stay together and show the Lords you're still a force to be reckoned with. Ever run a guerrilla force? Couldn't be worse than being cannon fodder. I'll think about it. Situation resolved. The attackers are dead, and so is Lord Razor. It's happening everywhere. Sith and Jedi countering one another, playing into the conspirators' hands. The Star Cabal saw Corellia coming, and they're using the war to decimate two military forces at once. I can't believe I didn't see it. Do you have a plan to stop them? We know their methods here, and we have data from Voss and Belsavis. I think I can find Hunter, find all of them. I've tracked conspirator resources to an airship above the city a possible drop point or communications hub. It's defended by a team of mercenaries. Take out the mercenaries while they're resupplying on the ground, and the ship's docking codes are yours. What should I expect from the enemy? The mercenaries are corporate assassins, formerly of Eidolon security. But the real danger is aboard the ship. I want you to allow yourself to be captured and interrogated. They'll ask what you've discovered and how we're responding. You will break under torture and confess that the Empire has secret reinforcements en route to Corellia. They've worked out everything to the last man. A discovery like that. Would force them to scramble. And in the process, they'll expose themselves. I can follow their trail to the inner circle. Not just identify their methods or resources, but locate our final target. Their center of operations. I get on board, feed them false information, 
and hope to get out alive. Yes. We won't have another chance. If we fail, losing intelligence would have been just the start. I'm sending you locations to check for the mercenaries. Get the docking codes, and I'll contact you again before you leave for the airship. Scanning the mercenary docking codes. Authenticity confirmed. You can land a speeder on the conspirator's airship. Remember, your job is to get yourself captured. When you break under interrogation, tell them... I'll tell them that secret reinforcements are coming to Corellia, that the Empire and Republic aren't evenly matched after all. You're very good at your job, you know. If I don't hear from you in 24 hours, I'll try to arrange a rescue. But I don't know what you'll find, and I can't make a promise. drinks, three burning buildings, and a ship full of beautiful women. We will dedicate this evening to history! He certainly seems cheerful. Welcome to the festivities. May I offer you a costume? Who are all these people? What is this ship? This is the Apocalypse Barge. Our guests are the most important and influential people on Corellia. Here to enjoy themselves one last time. The war will see our planet ruined. And we will see the war from above! Please enjoy the party. <laughs> the house is gone, dismantled by the salvage droids. <laughs> I'm staying until I'm ash and bones, darling. It isn't my favorite ex-intelligence agent. Retirement's keeping you busy. The truth is, I'm glad you made it. We didn't have a chance to say goodbye. You're hosting parties now. These people were Corellia's movers and shakers. They're obscenely rich. My apocalypse party keeps them focused on themselves instead of doing anything constructive. You should have seen the Hesperidium Resort during the Battle of Coruscant. Is Kaleo still on trial? She would have loved this party. And yes, it's also an excuse to see the end of the world in style. No more Jedi, no more Sith, a new galaxy. It'll be the same galaxy, you'll just have new enemies. Not once Corellia spirals out of control, the Republican Empire will obliterate each other, and the four sensitive orders will go extinct. For the first time in 1400 years, ordinary people rule. No more getting caught in crusades or begging at temples for scraps. No need to be afraid. Just one galaxy, united at peace. No more emperors or Jedi councils. It would be something. Unfortunately, we don't take converts. Security concerns. I was recruited at 11, from a planet that doesn't exist anymore. We could have been good together. That's why I'm sorry I have to question you. Is that the odor of coma gas? A good dosage, too. Figured you wouldn't cooperate. Lock him up and prep him for interrogation. <laughs> we took something we wanted, Moff Samar's report. Now, we have questions. Talk to Imperial Intelligence, they're good with answers. You should have kept your brainwashing program. It'd be less painful. Moff Samar's report. What did it say? And who did you tell? Oh. 
I've done far worse than that to family. Take him away. Get ready for the next round. My pain threshold. Mm. Lapsing in and out. Look, we could do this forever. Ready to talk? Officer Mars report. It showed we didn't have enough troops. Reinforcements are on the way. A new fleet from the Oriel sector. Led by a Sith Lord. Tell the boss. Now. Relax. Vacation's over. You get to check out. Get a speeder prepped. We'll dump him in the park. You sure? Those are the orders. Murdering an Imperial officer draws suspicion. The boss says someone else do that. Won't feel quite right for a while, but I don't see any permanent damage. Good work. Confirm authentication. Do not apply. Instead, proceed to secure line. Coordinates attached. Repeat. Proceed to... Secure comm channel open. Uploading the encryption program. 20 hours, 32 minutes. I really thought I'd made a mistake, but you're alive. I spoke to Hunter and planted the information. Any sign they took the bait? I'm seeing real activity in the conspirator system. Messages sent, credits transferred. I just need to make sense of it. Meanwhile, it's time we got ready for the final play. But we can't meet so long as their eyes are on you. I assume they've been tracking me since I left the airship. Republic and Imperial forces will be clashing around the capital shortly. That's our best opportunity to remove you from sight. You can rig a building with explosives and be caught in a firestorm. Fake your death and you'll no longer be top priority. We need some place visible, but not a prime target. I'll need time to set up. There's an access tunnel beneath the Military History Museum, not on the official blueprints. Collapse the building, and the tunnel is your escape route. You'll need to move fast. I want you heading for the Conspirator's hideout as soon as I find it. Good luck. Don't move! Hawkins to Chief. Target acquired. Down on the ground. SAS wants you alive, but I really don't. Guess there's nothing to discuss. Swarm! Swarm! We know you're in there, Cypher 9. I've already ordered all SIS forces to withdraw. That building will crush everyone inside. Come out and surrender. Life as a prisoner of war doesn't sound appealing. Better than the alternative. The Republic doesn't torture its prisoners. You'll be treated well, put on the official POW list. You might even go home someday. At least I'll be going out a hero, not a traitor. Cypher, think... I think I knew him as a junior agent. Shall we escape? Holocams missed your exit, and SIS Chatter is reporting an Imperial Intelligence operative caught in the explosion. Officially speaking, you're now dead. Congratulations. You said we were going to meet. You're off the Conspirator's scanners, if not for long. I'm sending you the coordinates of the Starship Tenebrous. I'll meet you there, and we'll destroy the Star Cabal for good. 